What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ, Player Profiles. Today we're going to focus in on Columbus Blue Jackets defenseman John Moore. First round pick back in the 2009 NHL draft. He was uh, the 21st overall pick. Columbus coming off that first and to date only postseason appearance. Um, you know, that year. And then it looked like he was going to be part of a, a bright future in Columbus with Rick Nash and, and Mason. Uh, at that time, I thought he was a steal. He's a very, very smooth skating defenseman that can skate the puck out of danger. A lot of raw skill. Um, got drafted out of Chicago Steel at 39 points in 57 games. Was the USHL Defenseman of the Year. Was committed to Colorado College. Went up to the Kitchener Rangers of the OHL. And played on an absolute bomb squad in Kitchener. And Jeff Skinner, Jeremy Moran, Landis Cog, uh, Murphy was up there. You know, some real talented players. And, uh, you know, he held his own up there and uh, put up very good numbers. You know, 47 points in 61 games. You know, like I said, the skating makes up so much of it. And, uh, you know, you look at the three years since Columbus has drafted him. He's played 69 games in the NHL and has seven points. Not exactly what you want. Uh, such a high pick. But, um, you know, minus 23 this last year scares me on an atrocious team. But uh, I think if he steps up, you know, he's a big good size kid at 6'3 and, and 205, 25 pounds. But, um, you know, I think Columbus can have one of the more underrated blue lines in the NHL. And you look at the players around him, Ryan Murray, number two pick, Wisniewski, Jack Johnson. Uh, Fedor Tud and Nikita Nikitin, um, you know, all those guys are very, very skilled defensemen. You know, that that can be the great equalizer on this team, you know, that offsets both the forwards' weaknesses and the goaltenders' weaknesses. Defense can kind of be your equilibrium. And, uh, you know, I think this kid really has what it takes to be a uh, good top three defenseman on a team. I think he's got the size, the skating ability, good shot from the point. And, uh, you know, you look at as Columbus moves past the Rick Nash era, and, you know, bringing on Bob Rovsky kind of means Mason, which we're going to do a piece just later on uh, what exactly is the reason for Mason's struggles the last three years after his stellar rookie year. Um, you know, I think Moore can be one of those guys, and he can definitely, um, you know, elevate the play of the players around him. I think, like I said, that's the equilibrium on this team as a defenseman. That's what's going to win them some games. You know, the forwards are hard working, but not the most skilled guys, but the defensemen are great. They don't have a, you know, a, a Shea Weber or a Chris, you know, a Chris Pronger's prime type thing. Eric Carlson, but um, you know, with this crew here, that, that, that'll help win some games. Do I think Columbus is in the playoffs next year? I don't think so, but I think they'll be better than most people um, think they will. And if Moore continues to take steps forward, he can be a, a big reason for that. You know, I've been intrigued with this game since they drafted him. You know, since he went from uh, went up to Kitchener over Colorado College. You know, it's kind of a you know a, a loss for the NCAA. You know, whatever. And uh, you know, he, he's. He needs to justify why he went that high in the draft, and I think he will. I think this is the year we see what kind of player John Moore can be. You know, uh, That's all I got on this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Play a profile on John Moore of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.